Welcome to the WeCare Customer Interaction Training Video. My name is Irma Marquez, Employment and Benefit Services Division Program Manager, and I will help guide you through the WeCare Customer Interaction Video designed to help you deliver an excellent customer experience of public assistance programs in Santa Cruz County. The purpose of this video is to help guide the effective practice of WeCare for phone and face-to-face -face customer interactions. In effectively practicing the WeCare interaction model, benefit representatives will deliver a uniform customer service experience that provides positive customer outcomes, customer satisfaction, and access to effective and caring service. The Employment and Benefit Services Division supports the Human Services Department mission by providing vital benefits and services such as food assistance, healthcare benefits, cash assistance, and employment services. Benefits representatives have the critical role of determining initial and continuing eligibility for individuals and families. The division's goal is to consistently provide an excellent customer experience by ensuring that both internal and external customers feel welcomed and comfortable, heard and supported, accepted and respected, informed and empowered. The We Care Customer Interaction Model is designed to emphasize our values and provides a guiding framework to deliver a consistent and positive customer service experience. Three customer interaction scenarios have been carefully selected throughout the training video to highlight our operational framework. The operational framework shown here illustrates the four components of a customer's contact with the Department of Human Services. Customers have three basic needs, food, medical care, and or cash aid. Cases fall into two categories, new application, or existing case. There are three venues where customers will interact, in person, on the phone, or via the Benefits CalWIN website. There are three outcomes a customer may experience. The customer may be approved or renewed, denied or discontinued, or in a pending status requiring additional verifications. Regardless of the status, the customer may also be referred to additional services. During the video, the WeCare Interaction Model and acronym will be described in detail and each step will be explained in context to the three scenarios. Also, you may recognize some of your colleagues throughout the video who portray both customers and benefits representatives. The department and community appreciate all you do to deliver an excellent customer experience of public assistance programs in Santa Cruz County. We thank you for your dedication and trust that this training video will assist you in continuing to provide excellent service. Scenario A, inbound phone call. Alfredo Perez is self-employed and has injured his knee. He went to the emergency room to receive treatment and was told he did not have medical coverage because his insurance had lapsed. He was instructed to call the county benefit hotline to resolve the issue with his coverage when he got home. He previously had Medi-Cal benefits but failed to submit a renewal. In this example, his benefits will be renewed and he will complete an application for CalFresh. The W in We Care stands for Welcome and Personalized Greeting, and it includes two steps, Welcome and Greet the Customer, and Personalized Conversation. Thank you for calling the Human Services Department. This is Melissa. I'm sorry you had to wait. I understand the wait times are quite lengthy, so I really appreciate your patience. May I please have your name and case number? My name is Alfredo Perez, and I don't remember my case number. That's no problem. I can find it for you. By the way, is it okay if I call you by your first name? Sure. The E in We Care stands for Engage and Clarify Expectations and includes four steps. Confirm personal information. Determine and confirm the reason for the call or the visit. Set meeting or conversation expectations. And explain horizontal integration. Alfredo, before we move forward, can I please have your telephone number in case we get disconnected? If that happens, I'll call you right back. Great, we might get disconnected. I'd say 831-555-4321.
It's just a precaution. I know you've been waiting a while and I want to make sure I can call you right back just in case. Can I have your social security number? It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, five, eight. Am I correct that you called today regarding your existing benefits? I'm calling because I had to see a doctor and I was told that I do not have my medical anymore. And I've been waiting for you forever, so I want to get this resolved. Alfredo, I hear your frustration. Let me reassure you that I'm going to do everything possible for you to see the doctor. I see that you had a renewal due last month that was not completed. Do you have time to complete your renewal now? I estimate our call will take about 30 minutes. Yes, I want my medical. Discuss horizontal integration, the process of offering both initial and ongoing assistance across programs to address family needs in a comprehensive manner. While we work on getting the issues with your renewal result, I will also see if you're eligible for other programs such as CalFresh Food Assistance. Does that work for you? I don't want any of the services. I just want my health coverage to take care of my knee injury. If the customer initially declines additional services, Reassure them that the issue the customer is calling to address will be the immediate priority. I definitely hear you. Your priority is to resolve your medical coverage. That's my priority too. Okay. To resolve the issue with your medical, I need to ask you a series of questions, including some about your financial situation and household. Some of the questions may be awkward and personal, but are necessary. If this doesn't work with your schedule, we've got some other options. Are you okay with moving forward? Hey, I'll wait as long as it takes to get this resolved. The C in We Care stands for Communicate and Gather Information and includes four steps. Identify customers' needs, gather information and review case comments, complete application and tasks, and confirm information. Remain non-judgmental regarding the action the customer has or has not taken to maintain or update his or her benefits. Okay, I've looked at your case and see that we have everything we need. I'm going to take care of this for you right now so we can restore your Medi-Cal. I apologize for the delay and inconvenience. Okay, thank you. If you encounter a technical issue, do not troubleshoot while the customer is waiting. For example, do not have a customer wait if the system is experiencing a long delay in processing or completing a transaction. Gather information and complete the paperwork as appropriate. Explain to the customer what his or her options are should this event occur. The A in We Care stands for Address Customer Needs and includes three steps. Determine possible program eligibility, explain status, timelines, and case updates, and provide additional options or referrals. As you review the customer's information for eligibility, keep him or her apprised of your progress. Your Medi-Cal is now active. I'll update the system so you can use it. Great, thank you, that means a lot to me. You're welcome. By the way, it also looks like you're potentially eligible for CalFresh food assistance. I just need you to answer a few more questions. Sure, since we come this far. Once the customer's immediate issue has been resolved, they may be more receptive to horizontal integration. Explain to the customer eligibility will be based on individual circumstances when all of the required information is verified. The R in We Care stands for Review and Resolve Questions and Concerns and includes three steps. Verify understanding of status and next steps address questions and concerns, and confirm customers' needs have been addressed. As I stated earlier, your Medi-Cal is now active. To process your CalFresh benefits, I need additional verifications. I'm going to mail you a checklist so you don't have to remember everything right now. Thank you, I couldn't remember all that. Do you have any other questions or is there anything else I can help you with? No, I'm just glad that I have my health coverage again. The last E in We Care stands for End on a Positive Note and includes two steps. Provide information for future Human Services Department contact and thank the customer. By the way, Alfredo, is the number you gave me your cell phone, the same number you provided me at the beginning of the call? Yes. Would you like us to use this number for auto-reminder calls and texts about your benefits? 
Yes, I forget a lot. Great. Before we end this conversation, I want to let you know that I'll be sending you a contact card, which will have your case number on it for future reference and information on how you can contact us. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Thank you for being so patient. Goodbye. Scenario B, in-person assistance. Erica Smith is a recently homeless mother who doesn't have a job. Her child's father is not in the home. She and her seven-year-old son come to the Human Services Department without an appointment, looking for assistance with health benefits and housing. She has never applied for public assistance before. In this example, she will receive Medi-Cal coverage, CalFresh benefits, cash aid, and a referral for housing assistance. The W in We Care stands for Welcome and Personalized Greeting, and it includes two steps, Welcome and Greet the Customer, and Personalize Conversation. Now serving customer A467 at station number two. Hi, welcome to the Human Services Department. My name is Brett. I appreciate you waiting. Are you number 467? Uh, that's what this says. Please excuse me for calling you by a number. We use the number system in order to protect your privacy. We'll be going down the hall to the second interview room on the right. Would you please walk with me? Uh, sure. Great. I'm sorry you had to wait. I understand the wait times today are quite lengthy. I do appreciate your patience and I'm glad we can now meet. While you walk to the interview room, step to one side as allowable. Gesture for the customer to walk in the direction of the interview room with you. Open and hold doors for the customer and make eye contact. Thanks for coming in today, Ms. Smith. Once again, my name is Brett. May I call you by your first name? Yeah, that's okay. What's your name? Evan. Hi, Evan. I'm Brett. Nice to meet you. Would you like to color? Yeah. All right. The E in We Care stands for Engage and Clarify Expectations and includes four steps. Confirm personal information. Determine and confirm the reason for the call or the visit. Set meeting or conversation expectations. And explain horizontal integration. In order for me to confirm your identity, can you please provide me with your social security number? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, thirty-five, ninety-eight. To make sure the information we have is current, can you please provide me with your phone number and address? Uh, we don't have an address right now. Uh, we've been staying in a hotel, but my money's running out, and I ran out of minutes on my phone. I completely understand. Is there a mailing address we could use? Uh, sure. P.O. Box 1316, Watsonville, California, 95077. Determine the reason for the customer's call or visit. So it looks like you're in here today to apply for cash assistance, is that correct? Yes, I need help for me and my son. We just became homeless. Discuss horizontal integration, the process of offering both initial and ongoing assistance across programs to address family needs in a comprehensive manner. I'm so sorry to hear that. We're gonna to work together so we can figure out what assistance you qualify for. Before we start, I'm gonna explain how we're gonna to work together on this. Now the interview may take up to 90 minutes. Is that okay with you? Yes, that's fine. What I need from you today is as much information as possible so I can make some initial eligibility determinations. I will give you more information at the end of our conversation about all the benefits you may be eligible for. I may ask some questions that are awkward and a bit personal, but necessary. Are you okay with me asking these questions? Yes, I need help for me and my son. Do you have any questions for me at this time? Do you have any housing programs that can help me? I know you're worried about your housing situation. I'm going to review your eligibility for all of our programs, including homeless assistance. If there's anything we can't provide, we can discuss other resources where you may be able to get help. That helps. The C in We Care stands for Communicate and Gather Information and includes four steps. Identify customer's needs, gather information and review case comments, complete application and tasks, and confirm information. Explain the interview process, including that there may be moments of silence as you type information. To ensure that I accurately capture all the information you give me, I'll be entering data into our system. I apologize, but I may have to stop our conversation for a few moments as I type. 
but I'll check in with you. Okay. Do you have any documents you want to give me? When I dropped off my application this morning, I gave the receptionist a recent bank statement and she scanned it. Okay, thank you. I'll review that document and your application shortly. I will also automatically review your eligibility for CalFresh food assistance and Medi-Cal health coverage. I want to be considerate of your time. Are there any transportation or timing issues that I need to be aware of? No, I'll stay as long as it takes. Thank you in advance for your patience. Where are you currently staying? Like I said, we've been staying in a motel, but my money's running out and I can't afford a room. And for my mailing, I have the P.O. Box in Watsonville. The A in We Care stands for Address Customer Needs and includes three steps. Determine possible program eligibility, explain status, timelines, and case updates, and provide additional options or referrals. As you review the customer's information for eligibility, keep him or her apprised of your progress. Thank you for your patience. Are you doing okay on time? We're fine. I'll still try to finish up quickly. I just have a few more questions. Are you currently working? No, I don't have a job. We've been living off my savings, but I only have $50 left in the bank. I've been so stressed and I'm worried about my son. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. Explain to the customer that eligibility will be based on individual circumstances when all of the required information is verified. Okay, according to my preliminary review, you and your child qualify for cash assistance, Medi-Cal health coverage, and CalFresh food benefits. Today you'll receive an electronic benefits transfer card that works like a debit card. Your food and cash assistance will be immediately available on your card. You are also eligible for temporary homeless assistance. We will help you with your hotel stay for up to 16 days while you find a more permanent home. Oh, thank you. Would you like me to help you find a more stable place to stay? Yes. Shall we look into two and one together to see what housing resources we can find? Oh, okay. Uh, thank you so much for helping. It's a lot to take in. I appreciate the help. The R in We Care stands for Review and Resolve Questions and Concerns and includes three steps. Verify understanding of status and next steps, address questions and concerns, and confirm customers' needs have been addressed. If you have a few more minutes, I'd like to review what we discussed and go over your next steps. I think we can stay a few more minutes. Great. As we discussed, you'll receive an EBT card with your cash and food assistance ready to use. You and your child will also have Medi-Cal health insurance, and you will also receive assistance for your hotel stay. Do you have any questions about your benefits or next steps? I think that's it. I think I get it. Ask the customer how he or she is feeling and inquire into his or her concerns or questions. Do you have any additional questions or concerns you'd like to discuss? I am so grateful for the help. The last E in We Care stands for End on a Positive Note and includes two steps. Provide information for future Human Services Department contact and thank the customer. Before you leave here today, I want to make sure you know how to reach us. Here's our contact information card with your case number on it for future reference. Thanks. Make sure the customer knows if they call by phone or come into one of our offices, any of our many benefit representatives will be able to assist them. Thank you for meeting with me today. Thank you. Scenario C, outbound phone call. Christina Mattis is a Cabrillo College student seeking food assistance. She works part-time and attends school full-time. However, she does not receive work-study. She is under stress because her days are filled with school and work and she can't make ends meet. In this example, she has applied for CalFresh food assistance and a benefits representative promptly returns her call to review her application. Although she is denied CalFresh, she is referred to a food hotline number for assistance and is also offered Medi-Cal coverage, which she declines because she is still covered by her parents' health insurance. Christina is encouraged to reapply for CalFresh if her situation changes. The W in We Care stands for Welcome and Personalized Greeting, and it includes two steps, Welcome and Greet the Customer and Personalized Conversation. Good afternoon. May I please speak with Christina? Hi, this is Christina. Hello, Christina. 
This is Barbara. I'm calling from the County of Santa Cruz Human Services Department regarding your recent application for CalFresh. Do you have about 30 minutes to complete the interview today? Sure, that was quick. I just submitted my application. Okay, great. I'm going to review your application with you. Okay. The E in We Care stands for Engage and Clarify Expectations and includes four steps. Confirm personal information. Determine and confirm the reason for the call or the visit. Set meeting or conversation expectations. And explain horizontal integration. I see that your full name is Cristina Matos, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. In order to confirm your identity, could you please provide me with your social security number? 342-229242. Before we get started, I'm going to explain how we're going to work together to determine which other programs you may be eligible for. Does that sound okay? Sure, but I only need help with food. I understand. I'll be confirming information you've already given on your application. What I need for you to do today is to provide me with as much information as possible so that I can make some initial eligibility determinations. I'll give you some more information at the end of our conversation about all the programs you might be eligible for and next steps. I may have to ask some questions which are personal and awkward but necessary. Is it okay if I ask you these questions? I don't have much time, but I'll answer as many questions as possible. Thank you for taking the time. I'll also be providing you with community resources that may be able to offer you some support. Okay. Do you have any questions at this time? No. Explain the interview process, including that there may be moments of silence as you type information. To make sure I correctly gather the information you give me, I'll be entering data into our system as we go along. There may be moments of silence. I'll let you know when that occurs. Okay. The C in We Care stands for Communicate and Gather Information and includes four steps. Identify customers' needs, gather information and review case comments, complete application and tasks, and confirm information. I see you're a student at Cabrillo College. Yes, I attend full time. That's great. Have you been approved for work study? No, I signed up for it, but I didn't get it. I see. Are you currently working? Yes, I work at El Palomar three days a week. Great place. How many hours per week do you work? I work about nine hours a week. I really can't do more with school and homework. The A in We Care stands for Address Customer Needs and includes three steps. Determine possible program eligibility, explain status, timelines, and case updates, and provide additional options or referrals. As you review the customer's information for eligibility, keep him or her apprised of your progress. Thank you for your patience. We're almost done. Are you okay on time? Yes, I'm fine. Explain to the customer that eligibility will be based on individual circumstances when all of the required information is verified. Okay, based on the information you've provided today, you do not meet student eligibility requirements for the CalFresh program. What does that mean? I apologize if this is confusing. Let me explain. Students who are attending school full-time must work a minimum of 20 hours per week or be approved for work-study in order to be eligible for CalFresh benefits. How am I supposed to work that many hours and go to school full-time? I understand your frustration. I can provide you with other ways to get food assistance. Also, you may be eligible for Medi-Cal coverage and we can complete that process today. I get health care coverage through my parents, but help with food would be really nice. I'm glad you have health coverage. Let me give you the food hotline number. Do you have a pen and paper to write down the numbers I'm going to give you? Yes, hang on. The R in We Care stands for Review and Resolve Questions and Concerns and includes three steps. Verify understanding of status and next steps, address questions and concerns, and confirm customers' needs have been addressed. Ask the customer how he or she is feeling and inquire into his or her concerns or questions. Okay, here you are. The food hotline number is 831-662-0991. You can call this number to find out where to pick up food. You can also call the 211 resource line. If your situation changes, I encourage you to reapply for CalFresh. Respond to questions in the positive, such as, 
I would be happy to discuss that further with you. Okay, not the answer I was hoping for, but thanks anyway. The last E in We Care stands for End on a Positive Note and includes two steps. Provide information for future Human Services Department contact and thank the customer. Make sure the customer knows if they call by phone or come into one of our offices, any of our many benefit representatives will be able to assist them. Before we hang up, I want to make sure you know how to reach us in the future. You can apply online at www.mybenefitscalwin.org, or you can call us, or you can walk into one of our offices in Santa Cruz or Watsonville. I have your number. Okay, is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. Thank you for your time today, Christina. Have a nice day. Throughout the We Care Customer Interaction Model, the following practices have been highlighted. These emphasize our values of providing customers with a positive, helpful experience. Horizontal integration. This is the process of initiating assistance across programs to address family needs in a comprehensive manner. For example, when a customer applies for health coverage, also offer CalFresh or CalWorks benefits. Referrals. Providing referrals to additional services that support the customer's need is a core value of We Care. There are instances when a customer's benefits may be delayed or that person may not be eligible for service or program. Providing accurate referrals creates a bridge between county and community assistance programs, such as referring customers to 211 services or Second Harvest Food Bank. Case comments. In order to achieve a consistent customer experience, it is critical to maintain accurate case comments. This ensures future benefit representatives have the information available to provide excellent customer service. Case comments may describe changes to income, family or household composition, or living situations. They also may cover processing actions staff has taken on a case. Rights and responsibilities. As part of keeping customers informed and empowered, benefits representatives are responsible for giving each customer a clear and thorough explanation of the individual's rights and responsibilities. This ensures that applicants and recipients will be aware of what they need to do to get and keep their benefits. The department and community appreciate all you do to deliver an excellent customer experience of public assistance programs in Santa Cruz County. We thank you for your dedication and trust that this training video will assist you in continuing to provide excellent service. <music>